Hey Anderson community, this is Brian. Uh, people asked me to do some more ride videos, so uh, I only did my first ride before, but uh, I'm on my way home. I decided to, to use it for commuting today. So I charged it to work fully, as you can see. It's only got 35% left, which has me a little bit concerned because I have a massive hill to go up at the end of it. And I'm probably about two thirds of the way through my commute. So I'm not entirely confident it's gonna make it. Total distance, it's probably about just under 11 miles. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes anyway. I hope to give you guys a video showing the hill because it's it's pretty insane. Uh, we'll see how well it goes up the hill. But for right now, I'll just give you some video on this bike path uh, that I have before me. Uh, one note about the remote too, I posted on the, uh, the build forum uh, that the remote doesn't seem to work if I stand on the board and I kind of have it like so. So I have to kind of hold it down like this and that seems to work okay. It's been very consistent. I've had literally almost no trouble uh, on my commute home. So anyway, without further ado, we'll get some good video here. Hopefully it's good anyway. As you can see, it goes pretty well. I will say I found the Raptor likes to go fast. It doesn't like to go slow. So the faster you go, the smoother it becomes, which is really nice. Also, my trucks were really, really loose when I first got it. Um, you know, I think it's hard to adjust that stuff to the factory, so there's absolutely no criticism there. But uh, I had to tighten them down a little bit just to make it stable uh, enough to ride at, at any kind of speed. Uh, but still, this skateboard is more stable than others I've ridden at this kind of speed, so uh, that's very impressive to say the least. Breaking right here. Whoa, that one might have been a little too much. I almost fell off. Very, very powerful braking. By the way, I will say I absolutely love this thing. It's been awesome. Hey there. Tell me how fast you're going. 23 miles an hour. That's pretty good. Slow down a little bit here. right there so I weigh probably about 200 pounds or so so that's probably 24 maybe 25 miles an hour that's plenty fast enough as far as I'm concerned Which is legal in Oregon, just so we know. I'm thinking also as the battery uh, winds up becoming depleted, it's a little easier to ride. Maybe that or I'm just getting more used to it, I'm not sure, but either way, I'm not complaining! that are, have yet to receive yours, you're in for a treat. I think you're going to end the video right here, so I'll have enough to show you the hill, hopefully. As soon as I slow down, that is. There we go. All right. Bye for now. Hey, it's Brian again. So we're back on the commute home, looking up uh, the lower part of my hill, which is not quite as steep as the upper part. 16%, oh, went up to 17% battery. So 
that's the hill and if you guys can see past that yellow sign kind of through the trees you'll see another hill that's uh, more indicative of the steepness that it's going to get to later uh, again not sure how the battery is going to work but uh, we'll see so we're going to go up this and then uh, probably take the long way which is a little less steep and, and uh, see how it does um, so anyway here it goes didn't like that and the board shut off so we'll have to figure out what to do about that okay so that wound up hurting quite a bit um, it appears that the board just shut off on its way up the hill I'm not sure if it was overheated or what the situation was I'll take a look at that when I get home I had over 10% battery left uh, starting the hill but it just literally shut off I was probably going eh, close to 20 miles an hour it started to slow down just a hair and then instantly shut off and I was ejected. Uh, the reason it hurts because last night when I did my little wheelie maneuver, I actually rolled my ankle just a little bit. That's why I was walking a little funny right afterwards. But uh, when I jumped off this time, I again managed to not fall down, but uh, re-injured that same area of my ankle and it's just killing me right about now. So I called the wife, she's on her way. And we're gonna get a ride in the car on the way home. So uh, that'll be good. Anyway, a couple things uh, else I noted about the board. Uh, I found I had to change my stance from my regular longboard. Uh, I don't do ride with a wide stance, but I have a, a Land Yachts 40 and a half inch uh, drop through. So it's got nice you know, curvature deck with the foot holders and stuff, and it works really well for pumping and stuff like that. This board not quite so well. I had to kind of turn my, uh, my forward foot a little bit more so it's not straight perpendicular to the board, but kind of more of a 45 degree angle. And the back foot I had to shore up just a little bit, so it was probably about over the rear axle, maybe just a hair forward of the rear axle, uh, just to keep the board from wheeling every time you give it any any juice. I'm trying to think of any other notes that I can think of that I learned on my ride home tonight. Hmm. Well, not, nothing's coming to mind right now, but uh, I'm also in a fair amount of pain. So we'll uh, follow up with some more videos if uh, I think of something. All right, thanks. Have a good night, folks.